You know, guys, unlike a lot of people in this business, I've always found college basketball very easy to handicap. It doesn't take me hours on end because what happens, whether you're a handicap or a gambler or a mixture of the two, you'll probably find yourself consistently going back to certain teams, certain conferences, because you know more about them and you feel that you have your finger on the pulse of those particular teams and those particular conferences. And I'm no different. Listen, you know, I mean, uh, I love Sun Belt Conference play in college football. In college basketball, are you kidding me? I can't tell you the last time I had to play in that damn conference. You know, there are certain conferences I have always excelled in and certain teams that as the season progresses, I keep finding myself going back to. So yesterday, Wednesday, I'm handicapping the college basketball card, and the first game that comes up is Xavier playing. Now, you know, I have been uh, riding Xavier five times so far this season, and I was 4-1 and one with Xavier, but I looked at Xavier last night and I thought, I think they're going to take care of uh, Duquesne last night. I thought they were going to get th done the job, but I thought, eh, let me stay away from the Musketeers, right? So then I looked at uh, a couple of other games, and I decided to focus on uh, Temple and uh, St. Louis in the Atlantic 10 Conference. And I thought, wow, you know, Temple, after beating Duke, then they lose. They got to come back. They got to win this game. But I was just a little worried because every time I do anything with the Temple Owls, seemingly I lose. It's like a curse. It was a mistake to go to the school. It's like a mistake for me as an alumni ever to go and bet my money on them. So I thought, let me get rid of Temple. And then I found a couple of ACC games. One of them I gave you here on the video, a free pick on uh, Maryland and uh, Wake Forest. And the line was five when I released the play, but it went up to six and the Terrapins won by six. So 17, 11, and one run with free picks going into your Thursday night selection coming up here in just a moment on the game between Purdue and Wisconsin. Unfortunately, I decided to go with my best bet last night on NC State. NC State was a 10-point favorite at home against Georgia Tech. Um... I think the last time I had a that good of a play was when I took Clemson against West Virginia because the Mountaineers just scored again. Uh, NC State, a 10-point home favorite, got hammered last night. I think Georgia Tech went on like a 19-3 run at one point. I mean, got hammered at home by Georgia Tech, losing the game. Uh, just a horrible, horrible pick. But, you know, it's not like I have a lot to complain with because sometimes, hey, you just make the bad pick. That's how it comes down to it. I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. You know, you win or you lose. Every game's a 50-50 proposition. Last night, certainly, I was on the wrong side of that 50-50 proposition. No excuses either. I mean, I love when guys in this business make excuses. Well, you know, I keyed the wrong game or it was the right side, but then this team collapsed. I mean, come on. It's a win or it's a loss. And sometimes the losses are far less painful, like NC State last night, because at least I knew early in the second half that game was done, dead and buried. But again, do I have a lot to complain? Because 18-9 and nine in college basketball so far this season, and I'm going to come right back after losing the five-dime play last night on NC State, after previously winning the five-dime play on LaSalle over Penn on Tuesday night, I'm coming right back with another one tonight. And it's another game with a big line, Indiana and Minnesota. And it's an interesting line, too, because it's nine and a half points, because clearly I think one of two things happens here. Uh, Minnesota desperately seeking its first conference uh, win this season stays within the number and catches Indiana looking ahead to their big rematch with Ohio State. Remember, they knocked off then number two Ohio State back on New Year's Eve, uh, winning outright uh, by four as a five-point home dog in that contest. And this weekend, they're playing in Columbus on Saturday. Or the Hoosiers uh, take advantage of a Minnesota team that plays very little defense and uh, absolutely hammers them at home. It's one way or another. Um, that's going to be my best bet tonight. And again, I don't really have a lot to complain with considering I've won 40 of the last 65 days. Uh, Money-saving discount coupon code coming your way in just a moment. That'll save you $20 off of any single purchase. A couple of guys you might be interested in. Uh, Jeff Benton, who was on a 31-14 and 14 run with 20 dime releases, has a play twice as strong tonight. 40 dime ACC game of the month, Virginia and Duke. 17-7 and seven start in college basketball so far this season. For uh, Jeff Benton. Uh, Derek Mancini won again last night. 20 dime winner on Alabama. Uh, best bet winner number 8 out of 11 going tonight. 
<laughs> I just saw something. He had Alabama last night in college basketball. He also had the third. That was a 29 play. He had a 39 play on Alabama Monday night against LSU, one of the only two handicappers here to have Alabama in the BCS title game. So he's won every day this week. Eight uh, and looking for best bet winner number eight of 11. And it's a 49 play, a blowout release. His last 49 basketball release was the T-Wolves cover and a loss to the Miami Heat back on December 30th. Now, your money saving discount coupon code is going to be JOKER20. JOKER20. J-O-K-E-R and the number 20. JOKER20. Uh, because I was just listening to the Steve Miller song. <laughs> so it inspired me to come up with that passcode. JOKER20. J-O-K-E-R and the number 20. No space between them. Uh, and that will save you $20 off of any single purchase you make today. Now, listen. Your money. Uh, that was your money saving coupon. Let's get to your free pick. Purdue is hosting Wisconsin tonight. Uh, Wisconsin has lost three straight games in uh, Big Ten play. Uh, so this is a team that obviously needs to get off the schneid. Problem is, Purdue has absolutely dominated this series in West Lafayette and at Mackey Arena over the years. And Purdue is a three-point favorite in this contest. Now, the Boilermakers uh, got crushed by Penn State uh, about a week ago, but they rebounded with a very strong shooting performance in a 79-66 win at Minnesota, uh, winning that game outright as a two-and-a-half point dog after losing by 20 as a seven-and-a-half point favorite against Penn State. Uh, they've already beaten Illinois at home, 75-60. to They won 79-76 at Iowa. They're three and one so far in conference play. Meanwhile, Miss, uh, Wisconsin is coming off an 18-point loss. 59-41 to 41 at Michigan in its last game. Before that, overtime loss at home to uh, Michigan State by uh, 3 points, 63-60. Before that, uh, as a 6.5-point, uh, I'm sorry, as a 16.5-point favorite, 16.5-point favorite, they lost 72-65 at home to Iowa. So, 1-3 conference start. Their only win coming against lowly Nebraska. Um, you know, Purdue is 9-0 straight up at home this season. 6-1 ATS at Mackey Arena. Their five losses this season. Four have come against ranked foes. Um, you know, Wisconsin this season shooting 33% in its last three games, which is 21 three-pointers in that three-game stretch. This is a Wisconsin team that if it's not hitting from the outside, it cannot win. Prior 14 games, when it was playing well, you know, um, team shot 46% and hit 41% uh, from beyond three-point range. Oh, by the way, let me just correct myself on something here. I said the five losses. I was referring to Wisconsin, not Purdue. Four of them coming against ranked teams, including a loss uh, to North Carolina. Um, Wisconsin is a very good uh, defensive team overall. You know, um, they're holding foes to like 35.2% shooting from the season. But they are struggling offensively. Purdue has won 26 consecutive games at Mackey Arena. Um, you know, I'm going to go with them in this one. I mean, they have, Purdue has won 34 of the last 35 meetings at home in this series. Um, the only reason I'm not putting my money on Purdue is this. They are one of the most atrocious free throw shooting teams in the nation, guys. Uh, absolutely the worst team in the uh, Big Ten in terms of uh, free throw shooting, too. And when you've got such a narrow margin and you figure it's going to be a low-scoring defensive battle tonight, you would like to see the team that you're on shoot a little better when the charity strike. So that's why this is a free pick and not a premium selection. It's the best of the worst, as I always like to say. Purdue is the free pick. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Friday.